flipped on his head, and he they had their guns, and he said, don't shoot, I'm unarmed. And they just unloaded on him and just shot him, like, a whole bunch of times. That's uh, one of the uh, witnesses from uh, Oregon after this uh, standoff turned violent last night. Alex Stone with ABC News has been covering this. Good morning, Alex Stone. Hey, McGraw, good morning to you. That's actually a Bundy family member, and uh, her side of the story is very different from what law enforcement sources are telling us. They say that Lavoie Finnicum, the, the man who died, who had been acting as a group spokesperson, got out of the vehicle uh, and was firing, that they were fired upon first, and they returned fire, and, and Finnicum was shot and killed. He's somebody who had been uh, very outspoken about the fact that he had been armed and was willing to, to die if he needed to die. Uh, but the Bundy family... Uh, as they tell their side of the story, they say that, no, this was uh, a case of innocent men who were unarmed and were giving up to federal agents and that they opened fire on them. So what do we know factually what happened last night? Well, this takedown happened uh, off the Malheur Wildlife Refuge, uh, where they had been holed up for three weeks since January 2nd. And uh, that likely was a plan by the FBI and uh, state police so they didn't move into the wildlife refuge where the militia members would have had the upper ground. Uh, the upper hand, where they they would have had their weapons, they would have had uh, vehicles and buildings to duck into. Instead, pulling over uh, the vehicle or vehicles, we don't know how many there were, on a very rural highway in Oregon and ordering them out of the car at that point. Uh, That's when the the gunfire erupted and uh, Lavoie Finnicum was killed. Ammon Bundy was among those arrested. He is the leader of the group, but this does not put an end to the whole thing, that They knew that they were going to get them on their way to a community meeting, but there are still militia members who are holed up at the Wildlife Refuge, and now they are vowing to fight. And they say they are going to go down, that they won't go down without a fight. So where this is going to go right now, nobody knows. The FBI telling us a few moments ago that it's setting up uh, checkpoints today, so nobody's going to be allowed into the area except for ranchers who have land in that area and own land in the area. Otherwise, these militia members who are now being told to show up in Oregon, there's been a call uh, with what's called the Operation Mutual Defense, a militia network, for militia members to show up and fight this fight and to go down fighting. Uh, The FBI is saying, good luck, you're going to show up to roadblocks because we're not going to let you in. But they're also not going to let those out come and go any longer. They've been able to go to the store and get food and go shopping and do whatever they need to. Now they're being cut off, and that may slowly put an end to this. All right, that's a new development here. And let's go back to last night. Where were they? They were were holed up in this compound, and you would think they were sort of hunkered down, but they were leaving to go where last last night? Do we know? Yeah, no, they weren't hunkered down at all. They had been coming and going. They had been uh, going to the store and shopping. They had been doing whatever they wanted to. Last night, they were making a a pretty much daily trip to go hold a community meeting. Uh, They were on Highway 395 in Oregon. They were driving into Burns. They had done this uh, quite a bit, holding these community meetings, trying to get the community behind them to say, you want us here and we're defending you. But many in the community have said they had no interest in what these guys were doing. And the signs are up in the town of Burns saying that, and we the militia members go home. We don't want you here. But still, you talk to the militia members, and they say, we're being open, uh, welcomed with open arms. They want us here. We're fighting the fight for them. Uh, but the FBI and Oregon State Police knew that this community meeting was going to go on with Ammon Bundy, uh, and they decided to, to take the action at that point. Up until now, they've allowed him and the other militia members to come and go all they want without pulling them over, without stopping them, unless they've done something illegal in town. But otherwise... Uh, going uh, on to and off of the the refuge, they've been able to do as much as they want. Do we know how many people are still in that compound? No, nobody knows. That's something that these members uh, have never said, how many people were there. They say for tactical reasons that obviously they want the FBI to think there could be tons of folks up there. Nobody knows. There could be one, there could be two, there could be 200. Nobody knows how many are up there. The Oregon officials and people in town have been quite vocal about them not wanting them to be there, correct? Yeah, not, not only officials and locals, but also the very ranchers who these militia members claim they are defending, those who were sent to prison for arson for setting fire to federal land that the uh, ranchers claim was their own land. Uh, those ranchers are serving prison time, and they say, well, we disagree with this prison time. They say, we don't want these guys to, to defend us. They are not speaking uh, on our behalf. So uh, it's the militia members fighting their own fight, it would seem. Very few in town support them. Uh, folks uh, around the area have said they want them to go home. The, the very people they're defending want them to go home. You know, in some ways, 
It seems like that some of these guys want the fight that they've been baiting police for some time now, and they're showing up in their camo with their their guns. And, uh, you know, at times it, it seems like they're kind of playing out their own war games and uh, and doing what they want to do. Up until now, police have not engaged them, but last night they definitely did. Now we're going to have to see what the FBI decides it's going to do, if it's going to engage them again or just try to cut them off with these roadblocks. Alex Stone, ABC News correspondent. Great job, Alex. Thanks for checking in. You got it. Thanks for dropping.